Hey, what's up, guys? It's Indo Player here, and today we'll be doing something different again. So, for today we're going to be reviewing Crossfight Birman ES CV57 Gunlock Wall. And don't worry, guys, I'm still doing baby, it's just some different things that I like. So, yeah, so let's get on to the packaging real quick. So, here it is packaging. This and by the way guys this is the Indonesian version so everything here is Indonesian also but anyway here is a starter with uh this starter CB77 gunlock wall power type and this is the emblem charge system and it's still authentic by Karatomi again it's just the Indonesian version of it so yeah cross like Birman it's the BBMA and stuff on the front of the box, you can see gun lock wall and it's showing gun core, the special thing about this Bimon. And on the side, we have the stats of the Bimon. So, he has 7 power, 4 control, and 4 rapid fire. And it is showing all the parts, you have the head parts, arm parts, emblem, core parts, and light parts. So, it has a 7 power emblem charge, so that's pretty powerful. And on the back, showing the stuff. So you can explain the emblem charge system and how to activate it. Again, CB77 Sarder Gunlock Wall Power Type. And it's a special ability the Wolf Arm in the Wolf Claw Joint. It has, and here is showing Gunlock Wall, Gunlock Tail, and the Super Play Gale Bullet, and the Hungry Wolf Gale Bullet. So it's this special move. On the side there, we have the game that you can play, it's double impact, easy game, and here is the character and customization that you can make, and yeah, when you open it up, you get this plastic bag that you can tool and the bolts, and here is the background part, which shows the wall emblem which looks very nice and inside we're going to get the sticker sheet and also the instruction instruction on the packaging which uses glass paper and like that shaving paper and then you also get one e dumber and e demon itself now I put some stickers to this Pimon. The only stickers that I did cut is this uh, black one. Which I don't get where it's supposed to go. But anyway, let's take a look at the Pimon. So here is the Pimon Gunlock Wall, and this Pimon looks amazing. It's fabulous. Looks very cool. And fun fact that the wolf eye is actually not the eye of the Pimon. Birman eye is the mouth, it's supposed to be the visor of the Birman. And the visor kind of looks like the mouth, and it's like the wall like, you know, opening its mouth. So that's pretty cool. And also, yeah, the two stickers we tell us that we need this big arm part. It's very nice. And yeah, the gun core is basically the slide car with just uh, different parts and this four shell is the same but whole parts are a little bit different and this trigger is all different and let's take a look at the part of the so the head part is pretty nice to hold and yeah that's why it's what we don't and as you can see this speedman is really weak and it's supposed to be a power type which I don't understand there's seven power yeah, and also the other thing about this B1 is not it's not very accurate. It's kinda accurate. Uh, packaging. <laughs> well that's kinda weird. But other than that, this B1 is it's not that great. But let's take a look at the emblem here. It's very nice with that wolf emblem blue part. And yeah, now there's a specific way to hold this Birman. The, the anime 
this emblem is up like this, but in real life it's, it's down. In here, this mode is actually emblem charge, so it's kind of like semi permanently activate the emblem charge, but when you fire, it's gonna move up. So right there and then that, I just like to hold it like this. And yeah, sorry if I'm a little bit messed up, but yeah, the core is and yeah. This emblem is actually pretty powerful, so the body part is actually power type body part, but the core is uh, nothing like power type. It has to do with the shape of the trigger, not this trigger attachment. This trigger attachment is actually very comfortable and it's the core is kind of very accurate to be honest. Because this a rail then on the on the trigger that makes this thing straight, not wobble, and I like that. And also, we can use this to get a bigger part to be more inside. Now, I'll explain why this woman is so weak and has a power type. We can remove this and we'll take a look at this. Here is the trigger. Sorry, guys. I will take it there, yeah. but here is a trigger, and let me touch a normal trigger. Here is a normal trigger, and first, first, first of all, this is trigger is not long, it's just long so I can combine this trigger attachment. But here is a normal trigger. As you can see, the gunlock core has one part that is super. Uh, sword which makes it not that powerful if this gun locker have this normal trigger design it will be much more powerful now why is that because if you know it the normal trigger two of these parts actually touch the be dama at the same time the gun lock trigger is different because the old top part is the almost the only part that touches and that's hence why the gunlock core is so weak. It's a weak beam But I digress. And also, this beam is pretty cool because the leg part, well, it doesn't have the attachment to attach the rubber part to make it more, more stable. But this beam has this part which you can take Gauburn's claw cloud part from the lake is gonna patch it to make the stabilizer and yeah this in turn makes the Pidemon much more stable as chain stopping this is a demon charge Pidemon let's test out the power of the Pidemon itself I don't have anything to test the power against it but well, I, I have this so let's try that so first, let's try that without the emblem charge. Let the emblem activate. If you want to not activate the emblem and not mess with this, you can just take the emblem up and it will just go down from it. But anyway, three, two, one, B. As you can see, it's not that powerful. It's powerful now. But it's not really that powerful. So now let's try with the emblem charge. As you can see, emblem charge lives up to its name, has seven power, and it's true. So yeah. So my final talk about this Beamon is it's pretty okay Beamon. It's not that powerful at all. Granted, that this Beamon is actually pretty accurate if I do say so myself. This head part provides some sight. This arm part is actually pretty comfortable to hold in my opinion. And the emblem puts a whole lot of power. And the gun controller has the rail part which makes it a lot more accurate. This is pretty cool. <laughs> and yeah. 
so that is it guys for my review of the crossfire b1 cb77 star gunlock world and yeah and yeah guys make sure to share this video like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in more videos bye